Imagine an endless expanse of snow and ice. In it, a hapless squirrel is chasing after an acorn. Are you thinking of Scrat from the animated movie Ice Age? Over the years, the American franchise won the hearts of countless little fans. And big ones, let's be fair. But not all of its characters were real animals, right? I mean, there's no way a saber-toothed squirrel actually existed. That's what the scientists who saw the original movie in 2002 also thought. Three years later, they had to admit they were wrong. That's when paleontologists revealed a fossil of a prehistoric mammal they had found in Argentina. It had a narrow snout and long fangs. The animal belonged to a now-extinct group of mammals that lived in South America and possibly Antarctica. A land of ice and long fangs. It all adds up. The saber-toothed squirrel was real after all. Ice Age follows the adventures of three animals, Manny, Sid, and Diego. A woolly mammoth, a ground sloth, and a saber-toothed cat. They're trying to reunite a young human with his tribe. The plot is fictional, but all these animals really coexisted with humans during the last Ice Age. The human tribe in the movie belongs to the Neanderthals. They shared the planet with us and Danny Sylvans, who lived in Asia. These early humans mostly inhabited the European continent. They disappeared some 40,000 years ago. Scientific evidence suggests that the Neanderthals interacted with the woolly mammoth. In the movie, this is Manny. At first, he's a bit grumpy, but in the end, we learn that he's a kind and brave character. In the second movie, he meets another mammoth called Ellie. Before that, Manny thought he was the last of his kind. His worries were justified. Scientists estimate that the last woolly mammoth walked the Earth some 4,000 years ago. This was around the time the Egyptians were building the Great Pyramids. These animals were the size of African elephants. They are the mammoth's relatives still living today. This now extinct species once roamed the cold tundra of Asia, Europe, and North America. They traveled in herds and had no natural predators, with the notable exception of humans. Scientists believe that overhunting, combined with the rising global temperatures, spelled the end for these huge creatures. In the movie, Manny made friends with Sid. He's a carefree, talkative sloth who was left behind by his family when they migrated. The scriptwriters got this part right. Jefferson's ground sloths originated in South America and migrated across the Isthmus of Panama around 5 million years ago. They migrated north across the Americas all the way to the Arctic. Sid is small in the movie, but his species was gigantic. Ground sloths were heavier and larger than modern bears. Just imagine a sloth with its long claws that is 9 feet in length. That's more than three times bigger than the largest sloths alive today. The final member of the merry crew was Diego. He started off as a bad guy because he belonged to a pack of saber-toothed cats and was on a mission of snatching the human offspring. In the end, Diego had a change of heart and befriended Manny and Sid. His initial personality matched perfectly with his species' temper. The American scimitar cat was an apex predator during the last ice age. It belonged to an extinct branch of the feline family tree. People sometimes call it a tiger, but the species has no living relatives today. Smilodons were most similar to lions in appearance, but they were twice as heavy. They roamed North and South America some 20,000 years ago. The saber-toothed cat's most notable physical trait was its long canine teeth. They were up to 8 inches long. One of the animal groups these ancient felines preyed on was freaky mammals. That's their screen name, of course. In reality, these were large mammals that lived in South America. In Greek, their name means long neck. Their most distinctive feature was a short trunk that bent downwards. The animal used it to carry branches. It was taller than a human and resembled a camel. Its skin was yellow and brown. In the movie, large herds of these animals migrated to warmer climates. Researchers believe this was the case in real life as well. Other animals that didn't like the heat were paleotheriums. Mr. and Mrs. Start rest on ice sheets at the beginning of the movie Ice Age, The Meltdown. Then the ice cracks and Mrs. starts to fall into the water. The likable creatures belonged to an extinct species of hoofed animals. They were relatives of today's horses and tapirs. These animals were the size of a goat or a sheep. 
the Stark family had thick fur, which comes in handy in cold climates. In 2016, Paleotheriums made another appearance, only this time they had light purple fur. Do you remember the animals that looked like armadillos or turtles? They appeared in every Ice Age movie. In real life, the cute shelled animals were called glyptos. These stout animals had four legs and could move remarkably fast. Real-life glyphodonts were also on the move. They started off in South America more than 3 million years ago. They moved north to what is today Colombia. Unfortunately, these ancient shelled animals didn't survive the last ice age. The smaller and more lightly armored armadillos are their closest relatives nowadays. When early paleontologists found the first fossil of a glypto in 1814, they thought it belonged to the ground sloth. Sid's relatives were quite popular back then. Another animal that is closely related to a sloth is an anteater. It appeared in numerous Ice Age movies, but there's something odd about the way they looked on the big screen. Have you noticed how their trunks are long, like a mammoth, and are set above the mouth? This is not the case with real-life anteaters. The trunk is actually their snout, and the mouth is a part of it. The species had survived the last Ice Age. Giant anteaters live today across South and Central America. Rhinoceros are also alive and well nowadays. In Ice Age, they were represented through the characters of Carl and Frank. They have a particular liking for dandelions, which were rare plants. When Sid eats their last dandelions, he had to run for his life from the rhinos. He bumps into Manny, who saves him. In ancient times, woolly rhinoceros inhabited a vast territory spanning nearly all of Europe and Asia. They didn't cross into North America via the Bering Land Bridge. Scientists believe this was because there wasn't enough grass in the area. They might seem tough, but these rhinos were herbivores. That means they ate plants, just like all five species of rhinoceros do today. The authors of Ice Age often mix creatures from North America with animals that lived in South America. One species that definitely couldn't have existed alongside other characters was the dodo bird. It lived only in one place, the island of Mauritius, off the east coast of Africa. This is where the locals saw the last specimen in 1681. The species was 26 million years old at the time it disappeared from Earth. At least the creators of Ice Age got the timing right. In the movie, dodos are feisty, flightless birds. They choose not to migrate with other animals because they consider themselves superior. Instead, they stock up on food for the coming cold spell. They seem just as determined as Scrat when it comes to finally getting his hands on the acorn.